Hello and welcome back to another unboxing video with Suns and Shadows. You got Jeff this time. We got some pickups from Black Friday and we have a couple of fun items here. Uh, we're going to start off with a Kino Lover. We did get some other titles, but I wanted to accentuate what I was going for here. Beware of the Blob. We got the nice little 1972 sequel to the original The Blob. Um, from Criterion, so I got a nice little one-two punch. I am very much looking forward to checking these both out. These are going to be absolutely fabulous. Definitely working on that blog collection, so can't wait to get into those. We also got the Best Buy price match for $9.99 on Gattaca from Sony. Love this Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman flick. This is absolutely fantastic, so I am looking forward to seeing this for the first time in a long time and hopefully I can retire my DVD so that would be even better. And then recently we picked up uh, something that wasn't on sale but was a nice price. It's the very cult classic Dark Skies. Another show that might be prominent on our podcast coming up could be featured. This is a fun movie or it's not a fun movie. It's a fun TV show. As Megan Ward, I really like her in this one. I haven't seen this in a very long time. I've been wanting to get these DVDs for a very long time, but the Shout set has been a little on the pricey side off and on throughout the years. But I was able to get this for about 20 bucks, and they licensed this from Sony, and they got some fun little bonus features on here, like the International Pilot. They got some commentaries, they got some behind the scenes of making ups. So I am very much looking forward to this. And this is one, this is a fun one, even though it gets a little weird at the end. But it does have Star Trek's Deep Space Nine, Jerry Ryan on here. So she shows up more towards the end, but it, this, is a, this is a good knockoff from X-Files. It's not a complete knockoff. Because it does do some, like, era time jumping. It goes from, like, the 40s through the 60s. And, but, it's it's an absolutely fun show with Eric Close and Megan Ward. Megan Ward is delightful. So, I am looking forward to checking that out. Then we also got some anime here. We got the Collector's Edition. We didn't get, like, the Ultra Mega Edition on this. But we got Evangelion. This, um, it doesn't have the ending song. No, none of the international versions do, but this does have the classic dub on it. I still have my Platinum Collection box set. Not the thin pack. I have the individual singles, especially the part one where it came with, like, the parking decal, which is still on a car of mine. I should probably take a picture and provide that, but this is from Shop Factory G-Kids, and I got this straight from Shop Factory. I ordered it on their website. Um, probably not the first one to get this, but I won't be the last one. This is, a this is one of those I thought would be worth picking up, regardless of the cost and the fact that it's missing the end song. But, I still like it, and I'm still looking forward to seeing how this looks, seeing, and comparing it to my Platinum set. Might little do a little breakdown on that, just from my perspective. Other people are probably having their own videos out there, but I don't mind chiming in with my two cents on the comparison between the two. But at least I can still keep listening to the ADV dub that came with this long ago. So, and then in my last acquisition, I got a vampire book set in the southwest of America, The Bend by J.H. Kimbrell. So I would highly recommend this. I did a little early reading on this. I haven't, finished, I haven't finished through the whole book yet, but this is a very fun book. I would highly recommend this to anybody. So if you're into reading, um, this is available on Kindle. This is available on paperback. The hardcover is coming out soon, depending on what you're into. But uh, give it a look. Check it out. It's a hell of a fun read so far. If you want a little synopsis, I'll read it right off the back. The train doesn't stop at Micah Bend, Arizona anymore. The silver mines are played out and the post office is about to close, but there are still people. People who will not be missed if they disappear. A small town going ghost is the ideal buffet for a clan of vampires working their way across the southwest. Recently widowed and grieving town marshal Hiram Wells is confounded after two prisoners are found brutally and bizarrely murdered in his own jail. 
then body parts are discovered half buried in the desert near town and his oldest daughter goes missing drive him here on a desperate search for answers that may align the pulp stories his children love to read with time running out Hiram finds himself caught in a war with his ancient enemy his resolve utterly tested and his humanity at stake that is the bend check it out and thank you for joining us and we'll see you down the road